if you get bodied in this story, whatever. Oh! Here's the Fathom, episode five, Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Oh, no narration, just throwing us straight in? Needed a coffee to get done with the day, all right? Usually they narrate to start off the day, I mean, to start off the game, but we just thrown straight in. Oh yeah, they're about to jump scare us already. Hello, is there anybody else here in the office? I hear somebody typing. Oh, hello, sir. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking it to, if you need anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? Still working on that report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. All right, don't burn yourself out. Whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to motivate you. Let's go ahead and make that coffee. Um, so how are we gonna do this? Get that macchiato. I think that's loud. It needed water, okay? Get some tap water. All right. This is very loud in my ear, man. This is the, yo, I already know this jump scare is gonna hurt. All right, sit. All right, now we can go home. This dude, okay, needs to use the restroom. I don't know why I'm trying to predict if this is like a dream or not and whether or not this guy's gonna be the one to scare me. All right, let's use the bathroom. Bruh, something, yo, this is gonna hurt, man. Some, something's gonna happen. What is this meter? This, what's up with this? Come on, rail. There's always a. Um, excuse me, sir. This is the women's restroom. You should not be in here, sir. You should not be in here, sir. <gasps> that 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 didn't hurt as much. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It, it's it's okay, I guess. How are you? Not too bad, ma'am. I was just finishing up my cleaning rounds. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You're working late again, huh? Yeah, well. You young folks, sir, do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. We got our first jump scare out the way, so I, I think I'm chilling for the rest of the game. I guess I can leave now. Up, oh, the phone's ringing. Hello. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. I, like, I forgot they got voice acting now. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Why are you so weird about uh, this? Anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, work has been overwhelming lately. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Nah, actually... Um... No. About our trip, did no. you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. That's a lot. You just wanted to see me. Uh, I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Mike is definitely a serial killer. I know it. Hey. What? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Mike, stop. You know, I don't, I save on like gas you. and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Yuck. Why is both of these options sure sounds good? No, sounds Great. good, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. 
I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Yeah, certified yapper. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Harp? No, we're not cool. We're not, we're clearly not cool like that for you to be calling me Harp. He's been curved multiple times. It's time to just give it up, uh, Mike. All right, so we got these, uh, this Excel sheet. Let's just go to the browser. Uh, there. Uh, oh, they typed for me. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Where are you going? Type it in for me. All right, peaceful cabin area. We, we, we want to keep it under 100 a night, so we clearly can't go to this one. Private room in nature. Two stars. Private cabin in Woodbury. That's 99. All right, so it looks like we got to go with the 99 a night option. It's literally a dollar below 100. So let's let's book that. Yeah, it's a nice little clean cabin. Three guests, two bedrooms, 1.5 shared bathrooms. All right, let's book that. All right. Hey. I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Why didn't we start off with this rather than getting jump scared in the bathroom? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Oh! Oh, he scared me, bro. <laughs> Why are you Is that a PSP? Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? Nah. I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. Uh, how do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a con consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the, the snow starts. You too. Look at that PSP. How do I, how do I answer it? This says hang up. That's the only option. I forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. Let me grab it. Is that Mike? Can you, you didn't have to get out the car, Mike. Harp. Hug. Ugh. I'm not, why am I jumping, bro? That's still how you hug people? No, that's just how I hug you. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Bro, can you stop being so weird? Just the test hug to see if you smelled first? Huh, fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Wow, uh, I don't want to hug him no more, I'm sorry. You can just throw your stuff in the back, and we'll get on our way. Yeah, Mike, you're weird, bro. I'm sorry. And you're, and you're tracking me? Get in the driver's seat. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Stop calling me Harp. Like, he set this up just so we can have time alone so he can shoot a shot. He's not slick. 4.26 p.m. Oh, this is what you got playing on the aux? Trying to set the mood? It was starting to snow. Yeah, he's definitely trying to, trying to make a move. Keep your eyes on the road. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is this hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. 
Speaking of jobs, how is it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark's yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult, duh. That sounds like, sounds like what? Important work? No, it doesn't. Rick Wilson. Can I check my phone? Oh, wait, Hart, do you ever miss college? Not really. I, d I most certainly don't miss college. Right. I guess the only good thing that came out of the college was us. Us? Excuse me? I, um. Why did my. What was over there that grabbed my attention? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. Why did that stood, stand out to me? Why? Was, you know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. All right, let me check this text. Um, hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Stop. Hey, hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to read the text, bro. Oh, snap. That was close. You know. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Shut your st Can I read my text now? All right, thanks Sydney for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Why do you keep, I can't read this. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Shut up. All right, can I read this? Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward. I can't. I'm, all right, I'm going to just read it when I get there. It's kind of beautiful. 5.14 p.m. I don't know why I keep reading the times and like the SpongeBob narrator voice. Yo, Harp, check that out. Check what out? All right, most pizza. Yo, it's busy in there. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Okay. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Get out. Mike, why are you so corny? Are you gonna open the door for me, like a gentleman? Thank you. Yeah, see? Come on in, Harp. We got m people smacking in my ear. What's good, Mo? Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, but let's go with Mo's special. I don't know what that is. All right, what's your second slice? And then we'll get a pepperoni. The third. What is Margaret? I would try Margarita. I don't know what that is. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just a pizza today. Thanks. All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be $22.50. Why am I hearing this whole conversation in my right ear? It's super distracting. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Who is talking? Oh, it's a TV. Certified. Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do <laughs> How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, they about to, they about to square up. Hey, never mind. Uh -huh. yeah, this Ratatouille uh, soundtrack in the back. Long sniff. What? 
Oh, it smells so good in here. Yeah, that pepperoni. That most special. I don't know. Oh. Most special is pepperoni with and mushroom. What? It, wait. Hold on. Let me check this. What did she say now? Uh, Ugh. You guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Okay. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll just have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> Order number 27. You folks are right here. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Put the pizza down. What? They just took three leaves from outside off a tree and put it on my pizza. That's what that looked like. Dang, this pizza slaps. <laughs> Can't believe... Nora is missing out on this bomb pizza. I know, right? All this chewing in my ear. Dang, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Yeah, it's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel off, off an orange, would you? Bro, I, I eat the crust on the pizza. I paid for this pizza too. We're not letting any piece go to wait. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all put pull in driving. That's a nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading in the same direction as I was. What do you mean? How, how do you? How would you know that? Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So what do y'all say? Care to drive, give this free-spirited ride down that snowy road? I guess, sure, you can come with us. Hold on a second. You should ask Mike, actually. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have an extra space for another passenger. Yeah, he's right. There's only two seats in the truck. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Heck, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lady, no space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. G-A-P. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, you got a point. See, the way how he he completely did a 180 when we said we couldn't give him a ride exposed, his, exposed him. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Right mouse button to burp? Uh. Yuck. You didn't finish? Oh, I was about to say, you didn't finish your pizza? All right, that was good. All right, then are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see if my GPS is right. It should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Hey, yo, who man is this? Um, excuse me, sir. Why is he, why is he pushing him? Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. Take keys. All right, then. Take care, Mo. Thank you for the pizza. I'm a good driver, so. 5.49 p.m. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this This car feel heavy. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect...
perfect song to set the mood. So Ew, why is he staring at me? That was creepy. Bro, why are you beeping me? It's all in my lane. Oh, he's back again. They got this dude's whole album in these Fears to Fathom game. I, I, I promise you I heard this dude in the last game. I don't even know if we're supposed to be going this way. Okay, I think this is it. And this should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. I was. I think it's, we're good to go. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Now, Mike, I, I did bring a knife with me in this bag. So if you wanna try something, I will shank you. Slide to open. Oh, all right, yep, this is what this is what the text message is for. Okay, the key will be in the log box in the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. 5176. Boom. Oh yeah, this is cozy. I'm gonna just drop the bag right here. How do I drop it? Oh. Why is he so creepy? What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the John. You didn't need to tell me that. You could have just went. Take your time, Mike. While I'm going, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Got it. Why is it playing creepy music? The house was cozy and well furnished. I don't see where the where we what the groceries is he talking about. Stock the fridge? How? Oh. There we go. All right, we got the groceries in the fridge. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> Phew, sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Uh, well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see him anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee, I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. He probably stunk up this bathroom too. Didn't even spray. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. He couldn't even, he didn't even bother to open a window, spray it down. Nah. Let's keep the test Rick. All right, we checked in. All right. You already know this. He's gonna be doing some weird stuff in his house when I'm when I'm using the bathroom. Wash your hands. Alrighty. I'm scared of going through doors after what happened. See, he almost scared me. You feeling better after the drive? Um, much better now. So ready to check out the place? Sure. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. All right, so we got the nice living room here. This living room is bigger than my apartment. That's tough. All righty then, what's back here? Oh, he got a little office. A Ouija board. No, sir, not me. I ain't touching that one. We could play this, we could play some Jenga. But I'll keep that right there. We not touching no Ouija board though. No, sir. <laughs> this is not creepy, where's the lights at? And he closed the door, but Mike, don't do that. You could, you could have left the door open. A totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the Long Beach Kush here. <laughs> All right, whatever. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. It's locked. Couldn't open the door. Okay. What are you writing down here? Can't read that either. What's in this cover? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, even though he's kind of creepy following me, it's like, it feels kind of safe. Not, not walking this house alone. 
I, I just hope you're not the we, uh, um. Hope you're not a killer, bro. Please just be a good guy. If you get bodied in this story, whatever. Oh! Oh my gosh. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. Why are you still here? What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're, we're just friends. Roosie Daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I will remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Bro, he scared me, bro. Can I back up from him, though? Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. I don't know why I switched his voice up like that. But since he scared me, I gotta give him a creepy voice. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Bro, he just... I don't know why he was standing... He wasn't even fixing the TV. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Hopefully he leaves after this tour. I don't need you to be here. Well, this is kind of cozy. Look, Harp. This room has a nice view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Pause. I don't know why I had to pause that. Follow me now, please. Okay. Um, sir, I just want to let you know we already checked out the downstairs, so you don't need to give us a tour of that. All right. Laundry room. Oh, it's kind of cool. All right, there's definitely going to be something. Somebody, We're going to see somebody hiding back here. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Definitely. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. There's more? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on the right. Storms like these, you never know. We might not need it. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. I'm not going to lie. After that jump scare, I got to give him like a one star on that review. You can't be scaring a guest like that. That ain't it. Like, I could have had a gun or something. <laughs> All righty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. That's the water heater back here? Look, look, no access to guests? Why is that, sir? Can I ask you that question? Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Can we ask about this door though? Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? <laughs> nothing you two need to be concerned yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Runners don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Like, you can still show us what's in there since we're going to be in there. Okay. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Oh, oh. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. 
said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were you, one of you, I wouldn't really sleep down here. <gasps> bro, wh <laughs> why is he so close? He just scared me, bro. I'm getting scared too easy right now. <laughs> the looks on your faces. Come on now, I'm just joking. You can't stop playing like that. First off, you're weird. I seen a, Ouij a, a Ouija board in there, so there's definitely something going. There's some spirits in here because when you play with those boards, that's what you. That's the type of energy you bring. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that dang cat. Uh, thanks for showing us around. I don't really appreciate the scare. Oh, by the way, what was the name uh, on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, uh, Sydney, that's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Okay. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? You're weird too, but he's, he's even more weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Okay, hopefully there's no ghost in here. He said he was joking. Mike, if I come out this door and you're standing in front of it like a weirdo, I'm gonna be, it's, it's, it's over. And where is Nora at? I didn't even, okay, I'm just gonna take a shower with my clothes on. I really just took a whole shower with the clothes I came in with. All right, we're dried off. Um, tap didn't work, okay. Please do not be in front of this door, sir. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm paranoid now. There's been two separate occasions where I've been jump scared after opening a door. I was about to say, I thought this dude had a sword in his hand. <laughs> hey, Hart, check this out. Found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned it, that would be pr a pretty epic addition to the trip. Uh, I don't know. It's it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Heck yeah. Follow me. There's another ride in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Alright. I never went fishing before, so... Fishing seems like a pretty boring thing. It takes a lot of patience. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Can you get out the way? All right, need to catch some bait. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Yeah. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. So we need cheese delight and sweet corn. All right, so we can only take one. Yeah, I still, we still haven't heard back from Nora. Can we drop that? I hope those carp are biting today. All right, let's go. All right, so am I supposed to be paying attention for it to like go underwater or something? This is, all right, we got it. We got it. Oh, this is kind of like Stardew Valley. And I don't know. I can't. It's been a minute, so I put it. Let's keep that. They say whenever there's one cart, there's always more. All right, so we got one. We need two more. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> Finally. All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Yeah, this, this. Yeah, fishing is not for me. That took way too long, bro. All right, so Mike, you, you know how to clean the fish, gut the fish. I, while I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the uh, the marinade? Well, I'm not trying to do it. 
Let's take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. What? Yogurt? On it. Yogurt? Okay, this is ginger, so boom. Right, oh, pap paprika. Check. Italian seasoning. Check. Black pepper. Check. Salt. Check. Where's that olive oil at? Got it. And last but not least, yogurt. That gotta be in the fridge. I'm wondering why are we using yogurt and putting it on our fish? I never. I'm not a chef. Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade? And, no, fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it. Okay. So you got two carbs marinade. Get this on here. Ew. Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay. You couldn't throw these veggies in? And then you said, I don't think we need it. Okay. Took care of that. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room that, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I did take a game out earlier. Like I said before, we not touching, we not touching a Ouija board. I'm good on that. Uh, tower stack, nice choice. Our, it's been ages since I played this. Totally been a long time for me too. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. Whenever you're ready. All right, start game. Oh, this is kind of clean, all right. Drag left, and I'm about to draw the loop. That's too easy. I really outdone myself here. Now, the, the easy part is we can just draw a circle and easily win the game. This is not, that's just took all the challenge out of this because you don't need to go. I thought he was going to drag a piece slowly. Did he just take two pieces out at, at a time? I didn't. Wow. Don't worry, hard. Practice makes perfect. One more round. Yep, I'm off for a rematch. One minute, 37 seconds later. One eternity later. Got him. First try. Just like the old days, I'm still terrible at this. You wanna try again? Nah, I think I had enough for today. All right. I think I'm gonna call it a night. That was a fun game, Harp. You really did well. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates, I'm starving. I forgot we were even cooking that. We didn't even make no sides with it. Come on, you gotta have some rice too. I think it's, I think our show is about to come on. You wanna watch TV while we eat? Yeah, sure. The salt bath. We can start making. Berlizzi's back again for Take another a one. Cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes. The cocoa beans need to be blended into the <laughs> sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor. They always have these weird TV shows the playing. There's never a normal we channel. There is the Excuse mayonnaise. Me. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like sh <laughs> but here you are anyway listening to my at least he's not at least he's not lying though this is the that, that don't look good mayonnaise. why is the we man got it injected like with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us it gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it after doing why that, is man a sense a sense of the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. What'd you say? What? This dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. 
Ow. What you will need is gasoline, gasoline and, and ramen. ramen. <laughs> this that sounds very really complex, so bro. I don't know how if I could do that. Almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Oh, okay. Maybe Gotta use, use that diesel. 2% or half and half. Do not use diesel. Oh, can't use diesel. My so fault. My after fault. Letting the gasoline <laughs> come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever oh, kind you basement. like. This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um. Uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. I mean, uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, <laughs> I I I'm not eating this. Why not? But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! That's foul. No, 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 it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Why are you lying Why, to me? Bye, Grandma. Me? Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get that's back how, in there. That's how you talk to your grandma? Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Cooking with Jeffrey, huh? I didn't even eat my food. I was too busy learning how to cook uh, gasoline ramen. I was done with it. You still got a whole piece left. Arp, that was some good food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. Yeah, it was all right. You don't have to rain on my parade, Harp. It was no, no most pizza, but I thought it turned out well. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details from my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, then. I'll clean up here. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and throw this out. It's crazy how they hit us with two, with two hard jump scares in this game like oh michael why are you texting me i think there's someone under my bed right now can you come upstairs stop playing like this michael I, I, it's too late for this it's too late for this hold on let me turn these down because he's about to scare me i know you about to jump scare me where are you walk slow you play too much. Uh, uh, see, why you play? I, I that that made me actually like real angry. Cause like, why are you playing like this? My good looks are half my charm. Harp, don't mess them up. Like, why are we playing these games right now? Like. We got scared already. <laughs> I'm, I'm really like, all right, let me calm down. I totally got you. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Fun. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. I'm tired of jokes right now. I've been jump scared three times already. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? No, I don't want to play these games. Why are we playing hide and seek? How old are we? I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. You're going to try to scare me again. See, you play these games so you can just try to scare me. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Whatever. This is going to this is gonna get real ugly. I decided to hide in the basement. 
Why did we decide to hide in the basement? Where where is Nora? Alright, where do we hide? I'm jumping. I'm sorry, every time when they turn the camera like that, I just had to hide in the neck under the stairs. I didn't Oh, this is good. How did you see me? That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you'd be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Why did, how did you find me? I didn't even say anything. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. How did you find me in there though? Like, like look, how could you, how would you know? I didn't even know this was a place until she pointed it out. Space to close eyes, all right. Oh, he's about to scare me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Now don't scare me, please. I, I had enough of these jump scares. I just wanna get this out the way. If this is a, if there's another jump scare, I'm like I'm I, I'm I'm gonna really get heated and not want to play this no more because it's like these jump scares hurt and they're like intentionally setting you up. There you are, I see you. Gotcha. Why did you see you didn't even turn off the light? Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Are we gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. You go ahead and check it out. I, my heart can't take no more of these jump scares, bro. Why did that close behind me, bro? What are you, what are you doing? What are you on, Mike? Why does it keep closing like that? Can reach without the steps. Oh, there it is. I'm about to get jump scared. Why couldn't he go? Why did I have to go? Oh man, we gotta get a, get ready for another jump scare, bro. What's up? Ooh. I found your cat. I, it's a cat, all right, I'm done. It's a cat. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. <laughs> I saw the other option at the last second. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Uh, I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Can we, can, I'm, the, I'm over this, this hide and seek stuff. All right, I found you, you found me. All right, where are we gonna hide this time? Hide in the school shed in the backyard. He's gonna, he's gonna find me in here. Oh, I gotta turn the light. Why would he know to check here? What if that's not him? What if it's that old guy? I can't look outside. 
he found me. How did you, uh, how? Dang, Harv, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn, close those pretty eyes now. Whoa, I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Uh, I'm, I was done after the first. All right, space and close eyes. What if he's gonna be standing right in front of me? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, uh, All right. You're definitely in the basement for sure. I'm guessing you're upstairs. Please do not jump I'm please I'm I'm done with the jump scare. Oh he's on the he has to be on the uh on the patio. Okay. Oh, he's not there. Bro, I can't I I, I can't do these jump scares. Are you? Whoa. Why are you? What are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there, Rick. Why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us, Miss. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? Yes. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house to, and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we really don't want to have to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. That's very, that's very scary that you said that. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. You should have fixed it before we got here. You trying to do your, you trying to fix it while people is in the, in the house. I'm trying to sleep. We gonna have some old man walking around and sneaking in. That's why I don't do Airbnbs, bro. They feel like they could just pop in. Yeah, yeah, it's your house, but I'm staying here for a duration of time. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over un unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Bro, I would have left. I would have had to stay at a nearby hotel. Rick can't be just scaring me like this. Uh oh. Rick. Uh, I'm sleeping now, Mike. I don't think it. Don't be trying nothing funny. What? You got? You got lonely? Is this Rick? <laughs> yes. Harper, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. You, do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Uh, Mike, look, let me, let me, let me explain something to you. We're just friends, okay? That's all that, that that's all that this is. I, nothing more. I didn't even say sure. He just invited himself in. Do you? Can we talk about this some other time? I don't need you to think about life right now. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What, uh, what are you talking about? 
What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Or he does own the place, but... Yeah, I wish he would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. I mean, I am a little freaked out. Uh, excuse me? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Thought I knew you was gonna be weird by the, the awkward laughing on the phone, the corny jokes. <sighs> oh, brother. Do I have to sit by you? I guess I have no choice. This is awkward now. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Miss what? Us, just talking. It's been too long. This is very weird right now. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Yo, see, I you, I knew you was going to try to make a move. I, as soon as you knocked on the door at this time of night, I knew you was going to try to... Nah, I'm, I'm not for this. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Uh-oh. Mike, don't be weird, bro. Come on. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. We used to be a thing. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Please, not now. There's a there's an old guy outside. Wait, what? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? We got you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you, let's go. Let's go get Nora because you're being weird. We're the timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Uh, that's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Like, why are you... I guess we, we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. All right. I, I, I honestly want to go and... I don't want to stay here because you know he's going to... Rick is going to be back and sneaking in. I, I want to go. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Uh, weather? Weather? Uh, yeah, I think I'll cry for a bit. Uh, don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. I don't think so. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Uh, I should go sleep now. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Why is you so... Yeah, you're really weird. I don't know what that was 10 minutes ago. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay. Yeah, well, Rick is going to be standing right over us when we wake up, so... This is gonna, well, we're gonna hide right in here. So get ready. Cause somebody's gonna sneak right in. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 AM. Oh brother. Who is it? Are they back? I don't see a car. Someone's at the front door. All right. Don't jump scare me, please. Don't jump scare me. I don't remember. I don't know how to lock the door, so. Who 
was that? Oh, it's the hiker guy. The realizing the realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. Uh, hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Uh, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. He's about to kick this door down there. Are you kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm, sir. I should have known you'd be a. <laughs> oh! What is this dude? Is the is the hike? He's following us. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of it, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. What's up with these people? Oh yeah, he about to kick that door down in a how do I call the cops? I don't know how to call the cops. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Bro, I don't I'm not you're not entitled to anybody having you in the inside their house if they don't feel comfortable. Karma's Yeah, yeah, whatever. The man at the dorm seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. How could you sleep after a guy literally just threatened you and has been stalking you for the longest? Uh oh, wait, hold on. He's kicking the door down. What's going on? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I had, at this point, I had no choice about to call for help. All right, text Rick. Rick is in on it. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Would you please come sit and look? You live so close. He's about to be so. He's like, oh, now you want me to have a look? I don't think so. Watch, watch him say that. He's gonna text me something stupid like that. Even though I have a rather reason for me to be kind of like, you know. Oh, we're definitely gonna hide up there. I'm not moving. I'm not moving from this room, so. Uh, Rick, you. Oh, brother. Please, Rick, let this be you. I'm not it. Okay, that's Rick. For the first time, I'm actually happy to see him. Open the door, misses me. Dang. What the heck's going on here? Rick, I'm so glad. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. That didn't answer my question. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did you kill him? You're kind of, you're kind of creeping me out with that hammer now. But I was, I was, see, look how creepy this guy. By the way. Where, where, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier? He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Bro, what? Sydney, your luck is, is, is real. You got some bad luck right now. What is this little animation you got? He's like, he about to try something. No way he just looked around like that. Yo, if he comes sprinting around this corner, it's a rat. It's over.
he's about to do something to me. Storms like this bring out all kinds of hope. What does that, what does that even mean? Not all of them know when to stay away. Why are you texting me in f when you're right in front of me? Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Who are you? Who are you, sir? I didn't feel safe opening the door. It, what do you mean? You're inside with a complete stranger. I gotta go. Oh, brother. I don't know where to go. I can't go upstairs. I can't go upstairs. What do you want me to do, sir? What do you want me to do, sir? What am I supposed to do? Like, all right, whatever. Do you want me to talk to you? What, you gonna kill me? You gonna kill me now? Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who you talking to? It's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. What, this, this song in my head, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Uh, y y you need to leave right now. What did you just say? Confront. See, why would you say that? He has a hammer in his hand. What do you, just, just act like this guy's Rick. Confront. This is my house. I'll leave when I want to. Uh, what do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. Uh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You're trespassing. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. You could keep the house. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What? Did he just lock the door? What are you doing? Eh. Wow. All right. So now let's just go to the basement. Hurry up. Hurry up. Why did you run? I don't know where to go. 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 Jump, jump off the, jump off the balcony. Jump. <laughs> All right, All right. I think I know where to go now. I think I know where to get up, get up.
This dude kicked the whole door down. Stop calling me! Where do I go now? Where do I go now? I don't know where to go. Stop calling me! hiding spot for a reason can you help me no do something no is he still there okay are we good this there's music playing we're moving extremely slow. I think we're good. <laughs> Nora. Oh man. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. Okay. Oh. I'm glad it's over. Hey, hey. 